Robots that are printed possess the same physical components as humans, including bones, ligaments and tendons. The world of 3D printing is rapidly progressing, with the range of materials available expanding considerably. In the past, the technology was primarily limited to fast curing plastics. However, it has now become compatible with slower curing plastics. The advantages of these materials are significant as they possess superior elastic properties and are more durable and robust. Thanks to a new technology developed by ETH Zurich researchers and a US-based startup, the use of polymers has become more feasible. As a result, 3D printing intricate and robust robots from various high-grade materials has become achievable in a single go. The new technology also simplifies the process of seamlessly blending soft, pliable and rigid materials. Additionally, the researchers can use the same technique to craft intricate structures and components with cavities as and when required. ETH Zurich researchers have achieved a breakthrough by using new technology to print a robotic hand in a single printing session. The hand is composed of polymers that form its bones, ligaments and tendons. According to Thomas Buchner, a doctoral student in the robotics group of Professor Robert Katschmann at ETH Zurich and the study's lead author, the hand would not have been possible with the fast curing polyacrylates that were previously used in 3D printing. Instead, the team used slow-curing thiolene polymers, which are known for their excellent elastic properties and quick return to their original shape after bending, making them ideal for producing the robotic hand's elastic ligaments. Soft robots' thiolene stiffness can be precisely adjusted to meet their individual demands. The advantages of soft-bodied robots, such as the manual dexterity prototype in question, are plentiful in comparison to metal-based automatons. They pose less of a danger to humans and are more adept at handling delicate items due to their malleable nature, as Kachman clarifies. The process of producing objects using a 3D printer usually involves depositing a specific material at each point, with nozzles creating layers in a viscous form. After this process, a UV lamp immediately cures each layer. Earlier methods used a device that removed surface irregularities after each curing step, but this method only works with polyacrylates that cure quickly. For polymers that cure slowly, such as thiolines and epoxies, using the scraper would result in the material becoming gummed up. In order to integrate the use of slow curing polymers, the researchers expanded upon the 3D printing process by introducing a 3D laser scanner. The scanner inspects each layer that is printed for any surface inconsistencies. This information is then fed back into the printing mechanism, which compensates for any irregularities in the subsequent layer. The amount of material printed is consequently adjusted in real time and with extreme accuracy, according to Wojciech Matusik a professor at MIT in the US and co-author of the study. This innovative technology means that instead of smoothing out uneven layers, the printer simply takes the unevenness into account when printing the next layer. The emergence of a new printing technology is credited to Inkbit, a spin-off from MIT. The development of this technology was made possible with the aid of several robotic applications created by the researchers at ETH Zurich. These applications were instrumental in optimizing the slow curing polymers used in the printing process. The result of this collaboration between Swiss and American researchers has been published in the journal Nature, along with sample applications of the technology. The team led by Katschmann at ETH Zurich intends to utilize the technology to investigate a wider range of possibilities and to generate more intricate structures and applications. Inkbit has plans to provide a 3D printing service to their clientele and market the new printers utilizing this innovative technology. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.